Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, basically I did a Amazon activewear try on haul a week ago, or two weeks ago, I can't remember. Anyway, it was meant to be one video and I bought too much stuff on Amazon that I had to kind of split it into two videos. So this is part two of that video, which is more just kind of everyday wear. I am kind of like showing again some of the pieces from the active wear haul just in case you guys didn't see that one, but I won't go into them in too much detail. So yeah. First up, so this was one that was in the last video and it is just this really nice gray thin sweatshirt, really comfortable. So yeah, I featured this in my active wear one, but it's also just a really nice everyday kind of sweatshirt and it's a really nice thin material which I quite like. Um, size wise I got it in a 16. I would like it a little bit more roomy but I still really really like it and yeah I just love this kind of detailing on it. I think it's, it's just a little bit different. Really nice and comfortable, really good quality, goes with so much stuff. I've just got it on with some blue jeans and it would look great with just some trainers as a kind of just chilled out weekend outfit. So like I said, I got it in an extra large, which is a 16, and this was only seven pounds 80, which is one of the reasons I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. And then moving on to the jeans, I'm not sure if you can even see them. I'm gonna move this camera down. Okay, so these jeans, really nice, this sun is, crazy intense right now. So really nice kind of, they're not really thick, but they're not super thin. They're a really nice kind of slightly stretchy material that kind of comes in a lot. These are very similar to kind of like the top shop. I think they're called Joni, I believe, Joni jeans, um, which I used to get all the time, but the top shop ones are very expensive. Let me just close this curtain. So this wash is perfect this is such a nice dark wash jean for winter these would look great with some like knee-high boots or alternatively excuse the slippers but just wearing them with a sweatshirt and some nice kind of chunky white trains would look really good as well um they are high-waisted so there's like a little bit of room in the back there but they'd fit me pretty well I normally like them a tiny bit more higher waisted, but these are pretty spot on to be honest. And this wash is really, really nice. They look really high quality and the stretch in these is really, really good as well. So I got these in a 36 waist by 26 like leg. Um, and to be honest, I never really order stuff with those kind of sizings. I normally work to UK sizing, so it doesn't really throw me. Um, and I say these fit like fine, as perfect as I could kind of get them. Um, and lengthwise, I'd say they're spot on for me. They hit me just on the ankle, but you can also sort of turn them up as well, which is great. And yeah, really, really, really nice and comfy. These, so bearing in mind, very similar quality and style to the Topshop ones, which I believe are about 40 to 45 pounds. So not cheap, hence why I don't buy them really anymore. Um, although I do love them, but these are very similar and these are 26 pounds. So these are nearly half the price of the Topshop ones. And yeah, I just think for the amount of money that you're saving, these are so spot on. I didn't actually show you the back. Perfect kind of staple blue jeans with really nice kind of wash on them. This is the last thing that I'm showing you that I have showed you before, but it's this jumper and I absolutely love this. I've been wearing this so much. So it's just a really, really thin sweater material again, but you have this kind of um, drawstring ruching, so you can kind of have it undone. Oh, I'm definitely tying that in a knot. Or you can kind of cinch it in and kind of bring it up into more of a crop top style jumper like that. It's really nice and comfy, really light, goes with so much stuff, 
And yeah, like I said, been wearing this so, so much. So I wanted to kind of just share it with you guys again. So I got this in a size 16. I said previously, I wouldn't have minded it in a smaller size, but I don't really mind that kind of balloony uh, style as well. I got this in the off-white. They also have a navy blue and this was 25 pounds. Um, yeah. And I just think it's like a little bit different to stuff that I've seen before. And this goes with leggings. That's why I had it in my active wear video, but also goes really nicely with jeans and boots. So you can dress it up and dress it down quite easily. Also probably should have mentioned these jeans are available in different colors as well. I think they have like a black, and another type of blue, I can't quite remember. But yeah, there are definitely options there. Okay, so next up, I got this roll neck jumper. So it's a kind of black ribbed style material, really, really nice and thin uh, with a turtle neck design. I don't really think it goes with these necklaces, just heads up, but yeah, really, really nice and comfortable. I have found with other kind of roll necks that they can be a little bit restrictive and this has loads of room, so it is quite comfortable. Lengthwise, I think this length is perfect for what I'd want. I did an H&M knitwear kind of try on haul and a lot of the stuff was coming up quite short, which I don't mind, but this I would say is a better kind of length, but it's also great because you can still wear this tucked into jeans or with like a high waisted skirt. There's so many different ways you can wear this. I definitely think this is like a staple kind of autumnal piece that will go with so much. So this is from Amazon's own brand called Find. I got this in a uh, extra large, which is a 16. And I think size wise it's perfect. Quality is really, really good. And this was 19 pounds. So that's really not too bad for the quality that you're getting. I'd say that pricing is definitely spot on. But let's talk, let's talk about these necklaces. Um, I'm gonna put in a photo here of what I'm talking about in case you guys don't know. I don't know if you've seen that photo of Dwayne Johnson with like the bum bag and the turtleneck, but I feel like this is definitely giving off Dwayne Johnson vibes, just the necklace and the jumper together, but I like them separately, just not together. Um, so this necklace is also from Amazon. I have a necklace very similar to this one already and actually kind of similar to this one, but they're quite short. They're more chokery style. And I wanted something that I could chuck on with a jumper just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Just to give you guys a closer look. So this did actually come with four layers, there was another one which was much shorter. So I actually just removed the fourth layer, um, but you do it up as one necklace so it, it's on the same clip, if that makes sense. So you can't wear them separately, you have to wear them together. So I actually just like removed um, the kind of links that were attaching the fourth necklace, which was just too short to be able to wear with jumpers. But quality wise, I'm really surprised because this was not very much and yeah, I just wanted something a bit cheap and cheerful just to kind of chuck on. So the necklace is seven pounds 66. So like I said, it like, I just saw it, it was really cheap and I'd been looking for something really similar. So I just bought it. I do normally have a rule where I don't really buy cheap jewelry because I like my jewelry to last. So for seven pounds, is this gonna last a long time? No, it's probably not, but it's kind of exactly what I was looking for anyway, so I thought I would just try it out. And the quality is really, really good. My worry is whether it would tarnish over time, which it probably will, but yeah. And I also got a jacket to try. So I've seen that like kind of big trench coats are quite in fashion at the moment. So I got this one and it's a kind of greyish black dog tooth pattern. So quality wise, it's quite thin. I'd say quality wise, it's not too bad, but it's not amazing. Um, I got this in a 16, it is quite large. I mean, it would fit if I were to button it up, but personally, this kind of style jacket, where's the strap gone? I wouldn't really wear this done up. I would personally wear it undone. 
um, so it's quite long. I quite like that though, I think that would look really really cute with some heels um, or kind of like heel boots, whatever. Double breasted kind of design. It does feel quite sort of large. I was looking for something just to wear with um, a cute jumper and jeans, kind of similar to this outfit really, but just wear it open. I've got loads of room in the back. Kind of feels, yeah. I was thinking that I'd maybe sort of like, I don't know, tie that up and wear it a little bit. Now that I've tied that up actually, it is fitting a lot better how I would kind of like it. Yeah, I'd say it just runs ever so slightly big, um, but obviously it doesn't help that it's double breasted. So if you are gonna wear it open, mm. it is nice. So one reason I got this was because of the price and Right, I've said this before, that Amazon kind of have this really weird way of pricing their stuff where one item may change price between sizes or different colours. It's very variable, so if I order something in a size 16, it may be 20 quid for me, but you may order a size 8 and it may be £25. And I have no idea why they do that, but it is what it is. And when I ordered this coat, it wasn't very expensive. So I paid 18 pounds 30, 18. So it was very, very cheap. It wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but I was like, well, that is ridiculously cheap. And for 18 pounds, this jacket is like amazing quality because you wouldn't really find that kind of pricing elsewhere. But I went on and checked today and they've changed the pricing quite drastically. So the price of this jacket in a size 16 has now gone up to 61 pounds. And I don't know why they've changed it that much. That's like a crazy jump in price. So I'm a bit annoyed about that. The coat is nice. I wouldn't pay more than 30 quid for it though because it's not even properly lined. It's a nice kind of autumnal chuck on coat and I do like it style wise. I'm not in love with it enough to keep it to be perfectly honest. It's not, yeah, I, I'm just a bit blah with it so I won't be keeping it but I definitely wouldn't pay 60 pounds for it so I'm a bit disappointed they did change the price so much but oh well. Right, I have another jumper to show you guys. So, like I said, did my H&M knitwear haul last week. My, my brain is literally like, do they? Can't remember anything. So, I tried on a jumper very similar to this. It came up a little bit too big, so I sent it back. They don't have my size. I don't think they're gonna get my size back in stock. So, I went to Amazon to find something else to replace it and actually I think I prefer this one so it's a very sort of loose knit style jumper in this really nice kind of um beigey colour with a stand up neck I do prefer a stand up neck over a kind of roll top I just find them a little bit more comfortable and less kind of suffocating I like wearing roll tops every so often but I feel like this is definitely more versatile fits really really nicely the quality is really good I think this is actually a Vera Moda jumper um so lengthwise the length is really good on it but I always prefer to kind of pull them up a little bit more like that let me give you a close-up of the colour it's just a really really nice kind of thin woven material tiny tiny bit see through I'm wearing it with a black lacy bra so I'd say, it, to me it doesn't matter, but I think it would look nicer just wearing it with a kind of nude t-shirt bra. I think you can kind of see the lacing through a little bit of my bra, so it's not ideal, but it's not a kind of deal breaker. I think this looks really nice with this necklace as well. So I got this in an extra large, which is a size 42, that's a a Euro, Euro 42 I believe there is a size chart so you can just check it but I believe that's a size 16 so I'd say size wise spot on exactly how I would like to wear it um so this is the they say this is gray it's definitely not gray it says gray light gray melange detail with snow 
I don't know, it's not great. It's definitely a kind of, it looks exactly like it does in the photo, but I would not say this is a gray. This is definitely a kind of beigey cream color. Um, but yeah, I love the color and they also do it in, I think that's a black and a maroon. So different color options as well. And this is £19.69. So the one that I got from H&M, I think was £15. So it's slightly more than the H&M one, but I do prefer it because this is more of a kind of knit jumper, whereas the H&M one was more of a kind of cashmere type feel of a jumper. So I definitely prefer this. I think the pricing's spot on, really good, really nice quality and yeah, perfect fit. It's basically exactly what I kind of wanted to add to my wardrobe. So I'm pretty chuffed I found it. And yeah, I like it with this kind of necklace set up as well. <sighs> and then let me talk you through the jeans I'm wearing. So these jeans I wore in my H&M knitwear video and I got a couple of comments saying, oh, I really like those, where are they from, blah, blah, blah. When I tried them on for the H&M video, I made the rookie mistake of pulling them up by the belt loops and I ripped the belt loop. And just now I did the same thing again, completely forgot I'd already ripped them, yanked them up and I've made the rip even bigger. So let's just, let's just get out of the way. I've ripped them, getting my fat ass into them. <laughs> but apart from that, I, I, would, I would actually put that down to my cat handedness rather than the quality of the jeans because I do really love these jeans and I'm gonna reorder them. Um, but I just wanted to get that out of the way and just let you know. So they're a really nice black skinny jean, but these are coated. I'm gonna wind this camera down and show you a close up because this is why I love them so much. I have no idea if you can even see. So, I wanted a coated pair of jeans, but all of the ones I've been looking at look like leather and I don't want leather look jeans. I just want them to have a little bit of a sheen. And this is a kind of snake printy, animal print style fabric, but with a slight sheen on them. So they are pretty high waisted. I'd say there's like a little, not quite enough room for my butt hence why I ripped them. But I'd say the quality's really good. Lengthwise, they're hitting me right on the ankle. Yeah, I, I just really wanted to add something to my wardrobe that was slightly different, that I could wear quite a lot, but they're slightly more dressy than a pair of normal black skinny jeans. So these are an Amazon-owned brand as well. I got these in a 36 waist by 32 leg, um, and these were 33 pounds. So for this kind of style jean, I actually think that's totally worth it. Granted, I have ripped them, but the fabric's nice and stretchy. They're nice and comfortable. I feel like they will go with so much stuff. I even just like it with this outfit and a pair of knee high boots would just look so nice. And maybe even like a trench coat. Yeah, I've been looking for something like this for such a long time. And this is the first pair that I've seen that don't look really, really cheap. So I had one more piece that I did want to show you, but it didn't fit. And I just want to show it to you anyway, just to kind of make a point. So I got this sweater dress. This is meant to be a loose fitting sweater dress. I couldn't even get like my head through the hole. This was so tight and the arms are crazy tight. There's like not really any stretch in it. So, I didn't feel comfortable putting on, like it was just way too tight. And this was meant to be like a loose fitting sweater dress in a size 16 to 18. And it's just come up ridiculously small. And the point I wanted to make is that majority of these clothes I've tried on and the ones that I normally will have recently been ordering from Amazon are Amazon owned brands. So if you search for stuff on Amazon, there's like a little filter in the left-hand column, which you can choose which sellers that you're searching. So you can search for amazon.co.uk um, as a seller. And I would actually recommend that because you know what you're getting with Amazon. They try to produce stuff to a certain quality. Obviously their name is, is against the item. It's in their interest to provide you with good items, good quality um, customer service. 
returning stuff i've never had an issue with them they're really really great but with some sellers obviously you just don't know what you're going to get which is part of the gamble is like this was really cheap let me find out how much it was actually so this was 13 pounds 49 so it was really cheap for what it is but it's just not worth it like the quality is not that great i mean it would have looked really nice and i wanted something similar to this but yeah i would my top tip for shopping on amazon for fashion would just be to stick to their their kind of brand clothes so the brand called find is one of amazon's own brands um that's really really good and their kind of activewear brands called Auric, i think i i tried on loads of Auric stuff in my um amazon activewear haul but all of the stuff that i've got from them has been consistently really good quality whereas stuff that i've got from other sellers is very hit and miss so if you are unsure about shopping on amazon then i would just say bear that in mind um yeah that is my top tip but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video or found it helpful if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel i'll be leaving all of the links for the stuff i tried on down below anyway and if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Bye.